A neighbor's phone call to police leads to the arrest of a man who they say was making dozens of fake IDs for illegal immigrants. Police say he was caught red-handed with ink on his fingers. News 13 Scott Daniels is live in the Newsplex with more. Kim, the neighbor called police because someone messed with her car. When police showed up, they found a lot more than they expected. And it was there the night before because my husband had gone up to the mountains. It all started when Sherry Ochoa called police yesterday around noon because the license plate on her car had been stolen. She told the officer she believed she knew who took it. He really hasn't lived here very long, but yes, ever since they've been here, it's been pretty rough. Ochoa told police there was something else suspicious going on in her parking lot. There was also a stolen truck out here, and we knew where the stolen truck came from. Cops ran the plate and discovered it was indeed stolen. They also found a stolen license plate in the truck's bed. They learned that the person seen driving it often visited the apartment, which is rented by the man Ochoa suspected stole her plate. Police questioned the people inside the apartment, and while they were clearing the unit, they came across fake IDs, printing equipment, and forged documents. They found 34 stolen IDs, credit, and social security cards. Police arrested the renter, Richard Howell, and charged him with more than 30 counts of identity theft. He told police he got them from dumpster divers and then turned right around and sold them to, quote, Mexicans. He was using their driver's licenses to sell to uh, illegal immigrants, and that, that was what he told us he was using the uh, the items for. Police are now notifying the victims the 58 year old Howell could face even more charges if police link him to the stolen plates and stolen truck. Howell is charged with 34 counts of ID theft, three counts of forgery, and three counts of altering a license. He remains jailed this evening. Back to you. Okay, thanks, Scott. Now, Howell has been involved in this type of activity before. Between 1995 and 97, he was convicted of 12 counts of forgery. He also has two DWI convictions under his belt.